Hello. Hello and welcome to Scott's Amateur Woodshop. Um, today I'm coming at you to show you the making of a microwave shelf. Now this is going to be something pretty simple that you could just do with some plywood and some scraps and some screws. Um, I'm going to show it to you because I want to show you simple organization type things. Um, so this is the microwave over here. Got it for Christmas, and as you can see, I have no place to put it. I'm gonna have to get it up on the wall. Uh, I do have a spot for that. Um, so I cut down a couple of pieces of plywood um, and put some gussets on it. So these are just screwed together at the back edge and pre drilled and screwed. And then I just put some another scraps of plywood and across here and just put two screws into them. Uh, as gussets uh, and then flush cut off the ends. Now there's one I haven't flush cut off yet so I can show you that yet. Um, you can see how this end is still square and it's sticking out. Um, so if you take this Ryoba that I recommended purchasing you can use it as a flush cut saw. I'm using the cross cut side and let's see that's not a very good view. Let's move the camera. So you can see how that's sticking up and some of the veneer is coming off of it, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, I'll just lay this flat down here and start to draw it across. And just start with the cut that way. Okay, that probably sounds awful. Let me move the camera back while I finish this off. Um, now to actually hang it, um, I wanted to use some sort of a cleat. Um, now if you had some French cleat material, something um, that you run through a chamfer bit on the router so it has a 45 degree edge, that would work. Um, you could also take a couple of boards and um, clamp them, offset, and then run a hand plane along the edge of them uh, until they're both beveled at the same angle. It doesn't even really matter what that angle is. Um, that would be another way. Let me just finish up this flush cut. Go pretty fast. Great. Now you can see that the excess is cut off right there. So, uh, I think you should use what you have though. And I happen to have some scraps of this floorboard uh, material, which is tongue and groove. So these already fit together like cleats. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one pair of them as cleats, and then the other one is just a spacer to hold it the right distance off the wall. Um, so. This will be the wall side, and this will be the other side. Let me pop these screws into here really quick. And um, I can show you that. So, what that's going to look like is this on the back, right there, and then this will be mounted to the wall, and then they hook like this, and now down here you need something. So that's where this other one will come into play, and I'll just have this already screwed to the shelf, right like that. Um, and then this should do it to hold up my microwave. Um, keep your eyes peeled in a future video to see the microwave in the background, and you'll know it worked. 
Um, I like to do these in one take, so that means you only get to see kind of one snapshot of the process. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this view. It's just something very simple you can do with with um, screws and a saw. Um, please remember to use the buttons down below. Um, and I hope you'll join me next time on Scott's Amateur Woodshop. Bye now.